Hello and welcome to my video. It should be on the Draining channel. If it's not on the Draining channel, then it's not. But um, it's created on the Draining channel. Today we're gonna be looking at Cauldron Z or Cauldron Eleven. I actually don't know if, if it's supposed to be Z or Eleven because they all have weird names, and I don't know if they're gonna use digits. But we're gonna skip to that now. We're gonna jump right into this actually. How about that? Uh, when you first enter the area, instead of the normal machines that are around, there's actually a lot of humans, and you want to dispatch all of them. There's a leader with a Deathbringer machine gun, who you can kill and take his gun, it makes life easy. Uh, but as long as you kill them all, and then progress towards the upper scaffolding, towards the entrance, then you're good. Now, this entrance, you just need to press triangle on, and then it'll lead you to a hallway where you just walk down. Uh, there's going to be two other humans in this hallway that you just need to kill before you move on to another room right after this hallway. There's a bunch of loot I advise you to pick up. It'll lead you to another big room that has three humans in it. One's on the scaffolding with you, one is on the middle section of the scaffolding, and one's in the lower section. Uh, dispatch those three and grab the ammo and stuff. Uh, from the supply crates. This room also has some water that if you swim back basically underneath from where you came, you can actually pick up, pick up some supplies as well. But um, it's it's only a white box, so it's up to you whether you want it. If you need the blaze or wire that's in there, then uh, then go for it. Now the next room is a big atrium with about a dozen or so enemies. My recording cut out as I started the first part of this area, but I continued on the about the second half of it. So sorry about that, but there is a whole bunch of things you can pick up here. I wish I could show you, but again, my Elgato hates me. Once you're done dispatching the enemies, you climb a scaffold to get to a hallway, which then leads to a little mini cave uh, that you just have to walk around. There's some supply caches in the back, but what you have to do is basically to the left of where you enter. You just jump on a little cliff and you hop on up and you go to the next corridor, which leads to the next big room with about six human enemies, one with a leader, which has a Deathbringer gun. And you need to dispatch those people before you can do your objective, which is actually to override the pillar that's in the middle. That's right, it's right there the whole time, that close. But there is a massive catch. Now before you override this pillar, make sure you pick up everything in the room that you can and make sure you're fully stocked up on ammo, because what happens after you activate this pillar is a whole bunch of enemies come, including some watchers, some scrappers, and a ravager. So you really want to make sure you're stocked up to deal with humans and these creatures. Now they fight each other a lot, which is good, but I found the best way to do it is to pick up that leader's Deathbringer machine gun and just spray down the creatures and leave the humans for a last because they're very simple to deal with, although they can do a lot of damage without you noticing. So make sure you always have a constant eye on your health bar and always have a constant eye on your medicine pouch. Now you're going to want to loot everything in the room that you find useful. And uh, once you're done that, there's a little uh, scaffold thing that you use to run up and then you jump onto a metal pillar and then jump onto more scaffolding where you proceed upwards to where the human enemies first started coming from and you go through the corridor there. But now comes the fun part, yeah. We have stalkers come into play here. So two random humans, you can just let them be, they're gonna get killed by a stalker. So in this, in this larger room that you enter from that hallway, you have one stalker to deal with, nothing much to worry about. I'm not even doing like a bestiary video on them because they're really easy. So you clear that out, and then if you go up the little ramp that the stalker was initially on, you follow that into a little uh, tunnel that leads to three different loot boxes, one blue and two white, which is beneficial for any extra resources that you spent there. But the real place where you have to go is just um, below the ramp, or below the little plateau, uh, there's a door that you have to override to open to go back into the atrium that you were once in. So on entering this room, you'll notice that there are a few cowering bandits here. That is because there are three stalker creatures here. Now, uh, you can kill the first two bandits without worrying about anything if you do it silently, but the first stalker will appear around the bandit to the left up on your entrance. And so you take that thing out. Now watch out for a little flare that you can step on in between the two uh, constructs. I did that and it didn't actually alert anything to my surprise. I think that might alert the first stalker if you uh, haven't already. 
But um, there's another bandit, and then there's a leader, and then there's two other stalkers. So what I did, I killed the stalkers. Uh, if you hit them when they're cloaked, you do like 90 damage, it's really helpful. Um, you can also kill the leader and try to use his gun to kill them, whatever way you do it. Just as long as you kill them and the leader, you should be good to clear on. So what you do is you climb up a pillar like you would in a normal cauldron where the, uh, where the boss battle is. You climb up one of those pillars, you then go onto a hanging ledge right in front of that, and then you swing yourself over up to the top where you walk up to the tunnel where you first entered this cauldron. Now, there's going to be about five bandits in here, as well as a watcher or two, and then a scrapper. They'll be fighting, so you can leave them be until they kill each other off and leave the victors. Or you can just join in and slaughter them all. Uh, there's going to be three up top, three bandits up top. And uh, basically, you just kill them all, and then you move on up, and then you go back into the extremely long hallway that you took to get down to that room in the first place, leading you back out to the exit of the cauldron. Now, there's going to be a big old war going on outside this cauldron. Uh, there's going to be a bellowback, a few Glen Hawks, and a few humans. I advise you take out the bellowback first by shooting out its fire pouches because that fire explosion can apply the fire elemental damage to everything within its radius, including the humans and the Glen Hawk, which is very helpful in terms of actually killing all the things. So basically, you kill all the things, and then congratulations, you can now override a Glen Hawk, a, all the bellowbacks, a stalker, and a behemoth. That is uh, the Cauldron Z. If you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, or um, you like me or my other content, please like and subscribe. Uh, I'm doing this for most of the release of Frozen Zero Dawn, and I'm probably going to be doing this for Ghost Recon Advanced. Ghost Recon Advanced, wow. Hmm. Going to be doing this for Wildlands as well. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any sort of critiques you want to give me on the way I'm doing these, please let me know because this is the first time I've done a series like this and I don't know if I'm speeding it up, if I'm over skipping some of the things you want, or if it's too long. Just let me know guys and I'll see you guys next time.